All righty, Keith, sounds good. See you in a bit with more. So we here at New Center, Maine, as you know, have had crews in the Granite State ahead of the New Hampshire primary, which is tomorrow. Pat Callahan, Don Kerrigan, Hannah Deneen are all in Manchester this evening, gearing up for this evening's event. And we're going to hear from Don and Hannah in just a few moments. But first, Pat Callahan with a look at the new CNN UNH poll. Hi, Pat. All right, hi Cindy and Lee. In just a little over six hours, the first votes will be cast in the New Hampshire primary as the people of Dixville Notch carry out their traditional midnight polling. One thing all of the tracking polls agree on is that Bernie Sanders leads the pack as he has for months. New Center Maine's Don Carrigan stopped by a Sanders, a Sanders event today as the candidate looks to close the sale with voters. Don? Hi, Pat. Primary time can always be a little crazy here in Manchester. All of this activity and people behind us is because a couple hundred yards away, Donald Trump will soon be speaking. Hannah and Ian will have a live report from there in a moment. All the drama tomorrow is the Democrats, all of whom are running against each other for the chance to try to defeat President Trump. Bernie Sanders won this primary four years ago. His supporters say he's poised to do it again. The polls show Sanders with a solid lead. Pete Buttigieg in second place. This morning here in Manchester, Bernie Sanders held his first event of the day called Breakfast with Bernie. About 200 people gathered at a sports arena to cheer on Bernie Sanders. He hammered home those issues that he's been talking about really for ever since the last primary. Medicare for all, lower drug prices, uh, reform of immigration and other key issues, among many others. And uh, Bernie Sanders told the crowd that he wants to have uh, to help the middle class and make the wealthy pay more. So that is what tomorrow is about. It's about bringing our people together to begin the process to end the presidency of Donald Trump and to transform our country so that we have an economy and a government that work for all of us, not just wealthy campaign contributors. He's great. He's such a good guy. We need somebody authentic. I grew up in Vermont, so I've seen him from becoming a mayor to what he is now. So that's, he's real. Yeah. The Pete Buttigieg campaign, of course, is working working just as hard, uh, hoping to uh, really challenge Bernie Sanders. We'll find out uh, that happens tomorrow. Elizabeth Warren and Joe Biden a little farther behind. And uh, the Sanders folks want to really wrap up their campaign in style. They've been putting a lot of emphasis on young people. Their final event tonight going on a ways down the road in front of students at the University of New Hampshire. Tomorrow they find out what the voters think. And meanwhile, Hannah Deneen is live across the street at the Donald Trump event where things are just really getting cranked up. Hannah? Hey, Don, that's absolutely right. The president is supposed to start speaking here at 7 o'clock on this stage right behind me. And you can just take a look around. People have been filing in here throughout the past couple hours, and we're told that they started lining up for this event yesterday. Now, this event, it's essentially the president's way of stealing a little bit of thunder from the Democratic primary as uh, that people head to the polls tomorrow. And people have come from all over New England tonight to show the president their support. And it's not just the forever Trump base that we're speaking to. People here say that what the president has done throughout the past three years has really solidified their support for the president. We're going to have more on that coming up at 6 o'clock. Pat? All right, thanks, Hannah. Now, the top tier candidates are headlining big rallies on this final day, but even the candidates who are lagging in the polls are staying busy to the very end. Former Massachusetts Governor Deval Patrick made some diner stops and greeted people looking for photo ops. Whoops. And of course, he, uh, as he posed for pictures in front of a, a diner today, uh, he found that uh, most of the people he was talking to were from out of state, but he doesn't let that bother him. 
<laughs> is it a little frustrating that everybody's a tourist here? <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, it's pretty interesting yeah. that people have come from from all over the country. We were sitting actually in here the other day, and uh, half the counter was full of seniors from a high school in Pennsylvania, and they had come up from uh, with their uh, with their teacher just to be a part of this incredible act of democracy. Now, Deval Patrick has barely registered in the polls here in New Hampshire, but he says he still hopes to keep his campaign alive beyond tomorrow. Now, you can see our full coverage of the New Hampshire primary this year on our newcentermain.com website and our free mobile app. We'll have much more coming up at 6 o'clock. Cindy and Lee. All right, look forward to it, Pat. Thank you very much.